I don't even have good military ideas. You have at least 1% a chat. Okay, so uh, Grug is trying to bait the Kaiser into attacking him, and the Kaiser is saying, no, we're going to go off into Sweden. And that the Swedes just don't have the leadership. And also, in-game, their leaders are not that <laughs> strong. I mean, no fire. A little bit of shock. Even with really good army tradition, yeah, actually. I would, I would have expected the Swedes could roll... They'd get between 5 and 13 And it pips. costs them basically nothing. Like, that's 20 yeah, mil. Oh, wow, that's super cheap. There's the thing. They will get at least 5 pips, and he gets 5 pips. Wow. And he should actually get 6, because he also gets uh, extra yeah. shocks. I don't know how he rolled a really terrible Magnus. Could, could be from an estate. Could be. Still a pretty bad one, but what are you going to do? March, Prussians, March. Okay, so they're, they're both just goading each other. However, the, the Kaiser holds the cards here because he can just put a lot of pressure on Sweden during this war. Uh, yeah, time is really wearing on. We're going to see that institution spawn pretty, uh, pretty soon. The Enlightenment yeah. will be upon us. What I find enlightening is the Nietzscheans just slithering their way down. I wonder if they soon will attack Venice as well. If they, made a, if they made a claim on Belgrade, that would be, uh, oh, that would be beautiful. Oh, um, Venice's war with Austria is finally over. Looks like they lost, like, maybe a province well, or we nothing. Can, we can look at the uh, the truce timer. That's oh, five years. Looks so. like a white piece. Yeah. White piece, maybe some money. Pretty white. It'd be great if he gets back home and could, like, come in for a wee chat. Um, what, tell us what it's. Tell us what the battle pope is like. Was there any fear in your heart as you stared down? But uh, I don't think the Battle Doge knows any fear. With this, though, the Pope surely uh, inflated his forces a bit. I don't remember him making his way up to 79k before. I think mm -hmm. for a little bit with all the mercs. But, yeah. is, is he still murking, though? No, no I think no. he's disbanded them at this point. Yeah, he shouldn't need them right now. He has no natural enemies. There is no predator against the Pope here. He's got uh, good friendships, including Ethiopia. So what is Ethiopia up to? They've been they've been doing a whole lot of not much this session. Yeah, they're, I they, mean, we have almost an hour and a half in, and there's not, not been another Indian war either. Yeah, normally Blondie's kind of the one to, to throw around uh, his might, but nothing happening here. I mean, I understand Katz. Katz plays single player yeah. when he joins the multiplayer. No matter the nation, he'll find a way. Oh, is that Wait. a French province in Madagascar? It looks like it. No, that's Korean, apparently. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I, I guess they showed up and offered money. I guess. You show up and offer cats money, and you too can have your own Madagascan home. Sure, why oh, not? Uh, Katz isn't even playing today, so uh, ah, it's, it's the AI that's been ah, selling ah, his lines. There we go. Ah, that's right, he, he was off today, but... Uh... Well, hey, if the Koreans want their home in Madagascar, then where we go? Where's our vast Korean fan base in the chat? Make yourselves known. I wonder if they have, like, restreams of this where they, they dub over us in Korean. Yeah. I'd love to see that, actually. That would be amazing. So, if Cass is protected, does that mean that people aren't allowed to buy land off of him? Well, he, he never mentioned anything about it, but... Uh, yeah. Selling land has never been. Uh, yeah, so I mean, the that. Dutch, for instance, they've got a ton of money to burn. They could use some treaty ports, right? Okay, I don't think any. Is that meant to be people like raising their hand? I honestly don't know. Or is that I? I, I don't. I don't understand. I just don't understand. They're talking about K-pop, though, and that I understand. Good stuff. Okay, this I also understand. Persians invading once again. They've brought double the forces, but uh, the Prussians plus the Hanoverians might be able to come and kick them back out of their country. Isn't that pretty much your entire army? I wonder if I can bribe the Dutch. I mean, they are Dutch. You'd have to derive them with something other than money, because they have more of that than they know what to do with. Look at that. 12 Do could. they even have a single manufactory they can build? I, I wonder if they can even build things, period. Now, they... Well, oh, yeah, yeah, they, they still they can. have a few manufacturers. Th those aren't even bad. Wow, okay. What, yeah. What's Why happening? are you do doing build some manufacturers, man? Wow, that's good money. But yeah. it's money that does nothing for you if you don't invest. Here we go. And... Caught the tail end of that, but uh, the, the Prussians and the Hanoverians did decide to send the Persians packing. 
But you're saying the Persians still have more units they could be bringing in. Perhaps they're worried about Ottoman separatism? They're fighting Ottomans on the side here. That's, uh, that's how much they think they got this war in the bag. But... But... How is the war exhausted on both sides? Asks the, uh, the chat there. Uh, Persians suffering a bit, although not nearly as much as Armenia is. Oh, wait, wrong, side. wrong, <laughs> wrong war. Uh, Hanover's not too concerned, but Sweden is Ooh. really not happy with the Dittmarsh ends just raiding their lands. And th this is a funny thing, they leave peasant rebels in their wake. Kind of makes sense for Dittmarsh end. Sweden's out of manpower. Dittmarschen is actually struggling for manpower, interestingly enough. Hanover is too, and so too is the Grug. Love of Persia. So I don't think anybody really wants to still oh, be in... Oh, Persia okay. is plenty. Persia's got it for days. I don't know why they don't make a, a real unified attack on Prussia. They might... I, I don't think they're even at forest limits. They might be a little scared of Gujarati invasion, but uh, it's been like an hour and a half into the session. And yeah. Gujarat's just been sitting there laughing about holding on to his victory card, so I don't... Yeah. I, don't quite I guess... Oh, well, this could be it. That could well be it. He wanted to integrate his subject. Yeah. Uh, has he managed to actually fully core that victory card by now? Yeah, he, he did so last time we checked over here. So yeah, it's... because that must have taken a while. It did. He had to do one, then another, then another. Uh, and it's outside of his culture group as well. Ooh. Just outside. A rough time. Yeah. Nasty stuff. Oh, wait, did I see Grugi saying something about things not being fair? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that as well. I'm not sure what it's, was unfair, but something, clearly. It's, it's unfair that you have naval superiority and we can't get across, said the French, for hundreds of years. <laughs> We're being told to check out Gujarati allies, and yes, they managed to secure... Wait, what? Apparently they've come to... A arrangement with Persia. Interesting. Which seemingly does not include getting their own course back. But Delhi is still allied with Persia. Hmm. So what could that mean? I don't actually understand that one. I would uh, understand Persia allying Gujarat against Delhi because Delhi is a threat for Persia's score. Yeah. But to ally both? That just seems like a lose-lose for them. <laughs> The top ten anime plot twists, says the Fra Vahar. We're being asked where the Ditmarsheni ships are. They seem to have popped away. I wonder if this is part of some overarching strategy they have to trap... Uh... No, it seems they've gone back home. Got to tie For off. reasons relatively unknown, Kariba separatists trying to rise up, but that's not working out for them. I guess uh... they got bored. And he's trying to take back Shell Land. But uh, to what end? Has was uh, the Enlightenment spawned yet? Yes, the Enlightenment waits for no man here. And it's... <laughs> In our Korean families. Yes. Our Koreans are deeply enlightened individuals. So uh, it, it, was, uh, it was here in yep. whatever this province is called, right? Uh -huh. Guan Yu or something like that. Yeah. I'm probably butchering that name. I mean, I'm not even trying. So, all oh, right, in in this view, we can't see where uh, where it's spreading. Let's have a look. See. There we go. Got it there. There's quite a few places in East Asia that it's going to spread naturally. Otherwise, yeah, France is going to be uh, going to get the Enlightenment pretty fast at this rate. And looking at the the overall where where institutions spawned. Montferrat had the Renaissance, it's pretty much always in, in Italy. Colonialism over in Amsterdam. Not new Amsterdam. Printing press over there. Yeah, printing press not too far away. Uh, global trade over in Isfahan, which is a pretty unlikely place to get I your mean, global trade. It is a lovely node, though. Oh, I, I mean, I can't get enough of that Persian node, but still, yeah, yeah, well, hey, I'll take it. And manufacturers are over in uh, Kalaim, you know, so just outside of, uh, of India, but... Kale. Kale, I mean. Kale exports that glass like crazy. I wonder if it starts producing glass. I can't think of anything that would have changed it to that, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. And then Kaiser Johan puts in unreadable string. Yeah, I mean... The, the Dutch should be getting the Enlightenment easy just by building, like, universities, surely. 
And looks like that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> Universities everywhere. It's not like he's struggling. He should have started with that a couple of years ago, though. But somebody's pointing out the truth that Dutch is not really enlightened. That's fair. Well, uh, maybe, if, maybe not Dutch Britain, that's... Uh... And if he'd built all of those universities five years ago, he yeah. would have had a really good shot at actually getting the yeah, institution in his, in his land. Apparently the Dutch are too poor for universities. Dutch uh, treachery. I'm not seeing the Dutch involved in anything. Treachery. I think you might mean treasury. What do we have here? No. They're at war with Sunda. I'm uh, not seeing any treachery. It could be this, though. Mm. There's a truce that they have with it, Marchand. Well, that they was might have... from last year, by the looks of it. February last year. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Who knows? What? What treach? They broke our pact. Oh well. The Dutch better watch out on that one because New Amsterdam is the Kaiser's victory card. Yeah, and if um, they lose that, Kaiser gets a, a runaway. Yeah. Uh, Trin informs us that no, kill us not start with glass. And he would know. They would know. Trin says that. Oh, says ah, so. yes, of course. He would have. Uh, he would have I thought there was someone in chat. No. Going, I would know. It's like, okay, you're from Kale? Cool. <laughs> the Dutch should take out the Kaiser, says Test Hamster. I can get behind this notion. There's been a lot well, of back and fro here, but nothing really decisive. Somebody needs to weigh in on the whole situation. This war score has been bobbing around in Hanover's favor generally, but not anything decisive. There is no question who is the fascist. Uh, you, you missed the line before that. Uh, in our Molotov ribbon drop pact, there is no question who is the fascist. Oh. I prefer the general statement, I think. The Coptic <laughs> holy sites are once again in Coptic hands, says Blondie. Yeah, really? Every single one? Ah, he's got the, the clean sweep. Although one of them <laughs> is, of course, Armenians. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah, so he gets the, the full load of uh, Coptic faith blessings. I love the artwork for these, because they, they, had, they had to be based on ruins that were then restored by our <laughs> brilliant artist's vision. In fact, it was done, I believe, when we, we still had uh, the real Timor on our uh, on our team. Sadly, he has moved on to other projects, but he was remembered through an achievement for mm. uh, for Dharma that we were talking about in the last Dev Diary. And I think it's the true heir of Timor. Nice. Can the next Dev Clash have random nations every session? I really can't imagine how that would pan out. Yeah, I don't see. It's like, quite... oh, I'm playing as Austria. I make Austria great, and then, oh, I'm 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 playing as Salzburg now. And how would you judge who won? Yeah, or you could, like, imagine a Persian Gujarat war, and then Persia just becomes Gujarat, and they go, okay, well, I've done horrible things to myself. Not really sure that would pan out, Rave Python. But if you have a, if you have a brilliant idea, then I'm sure I could read it and say no. Yeah, are Persians marching what into Prussia to an extent? What the heck is this? That's Serbia, apparently. But, I mean, why is it here? Seems to have gotten these lands back off of Venice, if I'm not mistaken. And they follow the one... Oh, they do follow the one true faith. Nice. Most of them. No, well, I mean, they give them time, they'll get uh, they'll get these guys Death sorted out. Death to the out. old world, Johan. Ex oh, says. wow, okay. What What is Johan up to now? Is Nothing he is he invading again? Because he did pull back a lot of his units. In fact, his armies. Is this how he brings death to the old world? I mean, but it's a great way. I mean, you just wait for them to die. <laughs> First they brought one stack, then two. Now they've brought three. Is this yeah. where the the Persians? Third time's the charm, right? Ah, it could be. Two pack is a Serbian. I don't get it. Unless we actually have. A lot of jokes come up that I just don't get, but mm. no. All right, so the, the Prussians are poised and ready. They have something resembling manpower, but they don't have a lot of backup. But they do have a fight. Yeah, but I, I would like to outnumber Persians if I were to fight them as Prussia. They have the morale, even though the Prussians have the discipline. And they're just not bringing the combat width or the cannons or the oh or the anything, dear really. oh dear Ooh. they got backup but that backup is Ooh. a little too late and a little too Ooh. well it's on time but it's not doing anything useful Ooh. wow okay the 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 Persian the Prussians of Prussia have arrived 
and they are Persians. Oh man, seeing Prussian units with their uh, their heads slung down, retreating is just delightful. It's just I don't know something about it seems not right. I don't know why Persia get Ave. We have a Persian. We should ask him what their cry would be. I don't want to say something at the risk of being immensely racist here, but we could get something authentic mm. if we just ask the right person. What do we have here? You lick the feet of the Dutch tulip merchants. Theodora stand with the Dutch. We got honor. You live on Dutch welfare. The Dutch killed you, and now you kiss them. Okay, so what's the story here? I, I don't understand. Maybe Theodora also? Ah, here we go. Rivalry against Ditmarschen. So it seems like Ditmarschen are making enemies of a lot of the old world. Ethiopia, France, Kilwa, Gujarat, Theodoro, all stand united in uh, opposition against the new world overlords. Nitra, Austria, what's going on? The Nitran Austrian nationalist war. The Nitrans are actually attacking the Austrians here. And they're sieging I mean, everyone's been there, but uh, sieging down Vien. But they're kind of losing it. Uh, they're, well, I mean, that's just their capital. Their capital doesn't have much fortification. Come on, Nitra. I mean, stand on your own two feet now. You don't have... Uh, don't really have Prussia to rely on right now. <laughs> um, Bratin coming in saying, I should remind Kaiser Yuan that he also grew from Dutch welfare. <laughs> <laughs> well... I think um, maybe Bratton just really likes gardening, and this is what it is to him. You know, he just plants money, yeah. upgrows a nation, the... and then, I don't know, he harvests his tomatoes. I don't... No, I think you're onto I didn't, something. I didn't see the analogy through very well here, but... <laughs> uh, the Miltech, please show, comes in from chat. 23 seems to be the norm for a lot of nations, but 24 for those that are really focused on the fighting. In, in this case, it's 24 for both the Prussians and the Persians. And this is a decent start, but I think there's just... Well, no, they might actually win this one. They have the Swedes coming in there. Mm -hmm. A huge numerical advantage for the Prussians, but I think... Ooh, this is pretty close. I think... There we go, the, the, per, the prop. The green ones, couldn't they hold out? The revolution <laughs> shall prevail, says the Kaiser. We will kill you. Oh, wow. This, uh, the Kaiser is heating up. He sees the opposition. I think he lives for it. He, he wants this. He wants to prove that the revolution is true. I, I mean, the only way to guarantee everyone believes in the revolution is to kill everyone who doesn't. I didn't know Mobot could do that. He even has fancy... Um, what, what do you call that stuff again? Uh, Gothic, I think. Uh, I'll go no, with that. No, Fraktur. Wow, I'm surprised yeah. you knew that. The word I was looking for was font, but I like that you knew which font yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I think that's Fraktur. I don't know if that shows up in, in the uh, chat. The, the Germans were a very big fan of it until, uh, well, World War Two. After that, they stopped for stopped some reason. Stopped being so trendy. I, I don't really understand. It's all politics, man. Uh, somebody was pointing out that the Kaiser is just talking. He's taking no action at all. I mean, he's... A, uh, it's he's, not actually a fracture, apparently it's just similar. He's preparing for war, at least, probably, maybe. He still stays true with Persia, but now with Delhi. Delhi have found themselves a new friend after they lost the old one. Well, Wait. I mean, they still have Persia. Yeah, but, I mean, Persia allying with Gujarat is... What, what are you even meant to make of that? I think it's dark times looming for uh, a lot of Europe with this, but what would it take to take uh, take down the New World? Because with the Dutch, you have the fleet, but you don't really have the transport capacity. Wow. They would have to... You would need a pretty solid invasion force, unless, of course, they I think can't... The, I think the Dutch own Bermuda, so... I mean, what, you're going to get 300,000 people standing here sharing yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would take the Dutch maybe three trips. They can easily have a hundred. Oh, I mean, they could go from there to there, but this is going to be captain. At, why are the French there? <laughs> why, why are the French here? I, I think they're a peacekeeping force. Sure. Uh, oh, man, they're also consuming I mean, the if you wanted to take them by surprise, you could ship people to Bermuda and then try to ship them all into New Amsterdam without the much noticing. I know you're saying important things, but I... Oh. 
I saw that Neutron stack. I think the Neutron mm. stack was, in fact, more important. Uh, well, he's outnumbered by Austrians. But if he joins up with his other Neutron stack... Yeah, I think, I think... Neutra is uh, trying to follow the teachings of Sun Tzu. Come on, come on Neutra. Basically, just avoid the fight until you know you can win it. Ah, he could win it. He, he's got what it takes to take down Austria. I think he just needs to take his land back and then deal with that. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. This is where the action is happening now, because... Uh... <laughs> this is so Groog. He's just spying on everyone. He's... Why would he still be spying on Lithuania? Uh, just uh, for the sake of it. I don't get it. And yes, Nitra is AI. Uh... Come on, Nitra. Ah, he was... Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes me a little bit sad, but maybe he's going to take down the Austrians. Oh, yeah. What are the casualties like in this massive war we've had going on for that's a, a decade good, or so That's now. a good question. So the, uh, it looks like the Neutrons have only lost 16,000, 17,000, 18,000. Oh. I, know, I know this isn't what you meant. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, not quite the war I had in mind, Ooh. but... Okay. Oh, a million A troops. million dead on the Hanoverian side and almost a million dead on the Dittmartian side. I'm afraid uh, achievements aren't active in multiplayer, so you won't get the Wee Bled for this achievement. And you also have to win the war to get the Wee Bled for this achievement. I mean, someone will get at them. That's true that. Please create a total, a total casualties tab. Come on. Well, I mean, this is We have the, the army losses. This thing. is the total casualties. This is just the uh, attrition one. Yeah. You don't add them together. And we also have... In da, the ledger, da, 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 we have da, da. all the I army losses. I always forget which one it is. Is it under military? <laughs> yeah, our armies. Army losses, rather. There we go. My eyes were fixed, but that doesn't mean I can see. Yeah, just uh, sort look, by total. If we look at players and sort by total... Gujarat, just... number one. Wow, Ming knew how to lose some troops. But if we just look at players, Gujarat, number one at something. Swiftly followed by Persia in losses. Harsh times. Come on, Natrons. Oh. I mean, if you're not number one for casualties, have you really been playing the game right? Good point. I think by the end of the Custom Nations one, I had something like... 13 million men yeah. in losses. <laughs> you, re you really took up that challenge. It's like, all right, I'm going to be number one at something here. Number two overall. Yeah. Got that trophy. Did you actually manage to get your hands on your trophy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stole it back from, from Bratton you got uh, it at your, a month or so ago. Got it at your desk? Yes. Where do you, uh, where do you sit? Uh, floor up. There we uh, go. In the old CK2 corner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, so so I've, I've sat there before. I'm so, not the exact same seat, but still. So many musical chairs here. Yeah. Death to attrition don't count. You need. You really need men killed in battle for it to count. There we go. Well, it, it looked like Gujarat had lost plenty of men in battle as well. Can't believe Theodore allow this Black Sea abomination to exist. There were also calls for him to culturally change Constantinople to Gothic. And we have a lot of blue flames now. Okay, flames across the board, including Let's go Netherlands. Let's New Amsterdam, I think. That's probably yeah, where that the action is seemed happening. like the staging point, and whoa, okay. The revolution was ready. Who declared? Well, <laughs> wow, okay. Those aren't all that Dutch, though. Uh, Close enough. Oh, uh, Dithmarschen, okay. actually. Dithmarschen conquest of New Amsterdam. Uh, probably so that he could snipe those French, maybe? Yeah. But uh, I guess he figured better to be the first one to arrive. Okay, Ooh. so here we go. That's a lot of heavy ships on the Dutch side. But, uh, uh, but wow, a lot more, morale. a lot more morale for the uh, for the Dittmarschen there, and more engagement width. Both those things are going to be super important. Also, he brings a lot more ships. Uh, the Dutch might want to get back and rethink their strategy here. Otherwise, they are going to lose their fleet big time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they are not going to be crossing the Delaware here. Oh, it's Avi on the land and it's Avi on the sea. Yeah, the Dutch are not going to see this one through. How does he have better ships, one might wonder there. What's he getting here? And the Dutch morale is oh, yeah. going up, but it's a bit yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit too late. Should have had that before the battle. He, he brought in... He brought in his lights, but I think that might just be fuel for the fire at this point. Yeah, they are losing ships much faster than the Dittmarschens are. Yeah, there's the thing, the Dittmarschens have extra units that you can have. Skilled cartographers, superior seamanship, coastal sea, 
leader maneuver. Leader maneuver is uh, is one of those things you don't often think about it as being super useful here, but it is. I wonder, maybe he's using this moment to ship in his units? Doesn't look like it. Nobody's got reinforcements coming in. He will try and try and try some more, but yeah, he has 40 more heavies, but... Tulip merchants <laughs> expect. Both. I mean, I've barely seen any Death Martian ships actually get destroyed here. Yeah, there's the thing. It's it's just the, like, uh, I the think Dutch like, ones that are going down. It looks like they're basically successfully disengaging. Yeah, he's captured oh, 13 ships, 14 four ships. <laughs> oh yeah, so he is losing ships, but he's capturing ships faster than he's losing them. Mm, By yeah, the looks this of it. doesn't look like it's going to work out well for the Dutch. I mean, he's outnumbered so much right now. Probably better for him to pull back and uh, reconsider. There we go. He... Oh, wow, that was painful. And look at the ships that the uh, that the Dittmarchens ended up with. I think he, I think he managed to steal a few. The Red October one out here. And the Ava cry has been changed to Nava instead for Nava, naval, I presume. Nava. What Ooh. a load of. Uh... Those are some uh, good admirals. Those are some hella good admirals. What did the Dutch have on their side? Well, I mean, that's Ooh, not bad, hey. but it's still not quite good enough. Yeah, I'd probably have taken this. The extra engagement would have been worth the, the point in shock. Oh, there. yes. Nave, Nave. Glory to the Red Navy. So much for the Dutch seas. I wonder if uh, Kaiser loses sleep at night knowing he doesn't control yeah, the Red the Sea. The Dutch are also getting sieged in two different places by the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, so Geo is uh, going down. Uh, rebels. Just but by rebels. Doesn't really count. And more rebels. And, and some more rebels. rebels. Okay, well. You mess with the revolution, the revolution messes with you. Four admirals. Did Venice AI take over <laughs> Dead March? In? And that comes from the red shirt as well. There we go. I think he used the one with more maneuver, Ooh, actually. Look yeah, at, that look at right. Austria. They are slightly occupied by Venice, no less. Wow. I guess Venice wanted their revenge. Nietzsche, I guess, will be happy to take advantage of that. Nietzsche had a bigger army once. Once. A lot bigger. It was twice that size. Okay, so what what is going to happen this war? They've completely ignored my advice to never start a war that goes into the next session. And uh, the Dit Marchen have started this war against... Considerably more their number, and it, wow, I, I thought that Marchand had more army than that. But it's not going to matter for a lot if they can't get their units over here. I mean, with so much coastline. Yeah, they're going to be able to slip by, I'm sure. Uh, but those fleets are pretty, uh, pretty tough. They would be able to last long enough for. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I, I see. Well. <laughs> I mean, what is manpower anyway? Here's the thing: when you are when you champion the people, you can call upon them in your time of need, exactly. just like that. He also colonized a lot of his land, so that could work out. I think uh, the enemies of the revolution are going to need another entry point, and if I had to choose one, I would say enter here. You'd never see it coming. You'd also have a good, you know, whichever point you choose, you can make a good um, choke point. Yeah, bisection. Mm-hmm. Still, though, they're going to have to come up with a plan, and it's very hard to orchestrate that between a bunch of players. So you'd have to speak to France and the Pope and Theodoro. Wasn't there another enemy of the... What, what happened to this? Were they not called in? They don't have a truce or anything. I guess he wants to do it alone. Um, yeah, but Delhi would have either answered the call or... Uh, uh... This is much more the attacker, so. Ah, yeah, I forget that part. There we go. Hmm. Interesting. Well, New Amsterdam is not going to last that long. Soon it's going to be renamed. That's, it's too bad you can't Ooh. rename occupied provinces. I don't think that uh, 80 stacks going to be too healthy once this falls. No. We're being told to look at Ottawa, and here <laughs> we go. You might think I'm doing it on purpose, but you'll never know. Uh, it seems like the French have arrived, and the French are pretty strong, but how do they measure up against the Dit Marcheni? Let's have a look at army quality. There's uh, not even that many of them. Uh, so if we look at players, including allies and war enemies... Remove players. Yeah, that's right. it. Okay, too many. Get rid of, uh, get rid of allies. 
Morale-wise, France, Pope, Russia... Okay, so Dittmarschen do not win out on morale, or discipline, or really anything here. Apparently there's also death to the Theododot. <laughs> Theododot. Okay, but where is Theodoro in all of this? Are they providing moral support, or are they putting boots on the ground? They got a lot of units, though. Man, I remember when Theodore couldn't manage one of these stacks, and now he has three. Still, though, I do wonder if he will arrive at any point with that. And there we go. I mean, France can kill some Ottoman troops. No, I'm doing it. Oh, you've corrupted it's because it's me. how it's meant to be, right? Canadians have no jurisdiction over naming things. Okay, the Dittnar, Dittmarsheni fleet has been caught out. Unfortunately, Joachim Boy puts the boy name to shame. And looks like we might see some Dutch units arrive. They got picked off a bit. There's the French fleet. And with this occupied land, they can at least uh, have somewhere to put their troops. Unfortunately, though, it's Arctic. It does not have the best supply limit. Probably not a good place to be overall. No, there's a decent enough landing point. What? Vinland was a thing? Apparently. Apparently. Okay, Vinland is a colony of Iceland. That's interesting. Okay, sure, why not? Stranger things have happened. Nothing personal, kid says letters. What? What is he up to? Uh, it's probably this land that he took or took back. No, oh, yeah. took. Straight up took. Wow, he buffed himself up. I wonder if he'll be taking on the Pope again before long, because he might be in a position to do that. So the conquest of New Amsterdam goes well, but the French have made that vital mistake of leaving themselves open to attack. Now, God, they're brutalizing the, uh, the Dittmarschenis. And um, yeah. I think they dealt more damage than they ate there before making uh, oh, um, battle in the North Sea, it seems. Uh, and that will go badly for the Dutch, judging by the last battle. Yeah. No, they, least... They've leveled out a bit on the morale, they're even on the engagement widths. Yeah, so that might go better this time around. Who the thing is, they, they're, they're kind of like equal forces yeah. when it comes to their naval uh, their naval everything, really. Have they taken any policies, either of them, to, to strengthen that, I wonder, though? It's like naval tradition, one of the unseen... Oh, that's the big one. Yeah, morale, navy's 20. That's huge. I think both of them have that one, though. Yeah, right? I would not be surprised if the Dutch also have that. Okay, so here we go. Yes, yes, and yes. But they could get another one. Mm. Is uh, there anything useful for them to get? Uh, blockade, ship cost. Not really. Light ship convertibility. <laughs> Never know when that'll be useful. Oh, yeah. That's a new meta. <laughs> I remember when we had uh, transport combat ability 50. <laughs> wonder if that managed to survive. I left Groogie Ooh, in charge of that Looks like one. we're getting a small little battle there. Yeah, land battles are happening with the Dutch arriving hand in hand with the French. Yeah, I think they forced the... the Peasants back. against Napoleonic infantry, says the French paradox. He knows what's up. Okay, I think this is going to be our last year before we, uh, we end the session, so... Might well be. How f are they going to completely destroy Ottawa in this time? Are they going to make it through and uh, relieve New Amsterdam? It's a tall order. It's a level 8 fort. It takes its time and to go down. And I think that was peace. What? What? Uh, let's check the true restoration then. Daniel just says, coward, and Johan says, ha, ha, ha. Uh, let's I check the true restoration. Understand. Uh, that's a five year truce. Tr Did they white peace? Looks like it. Thank you, Ethiopia. Ethiopia rules the world. What? I. We, we, we need some insights here. We desperately need some insights. What was the situation? We were busy seeing the Napoleonics ground pound the Dittmarschenis. There are too many people named Johan. Good lord. Just ping all of them. Say what <laughs> happened and see who replies. Yeah, oh. uh, Blonde is writing something. So oh, uh, apparently Blonde sent enforced peace and he accepted. Wow. So the Dutch. Wait, who who enforced peace on who? Uh, I mean, there were more great powers on the Dutch side. I was guess? it was it that he might he might have actually done an enforced peace. Where he actually uh, oh, yeah. he did that, so it's possible that he did that, yeah. and then uh, then Dit Marchand accepted. Mm hmm. Might have to have a, a look at that one. So I sent him force peace, but mm hmm. That's it. 
I sent the demand to the one who... Oh, okay, so Blondie sent the enforced peace on, uh, yeah. on Dittmarsh. I mean, I don't think that's quite intentional, because normally you can't just peace out of a war even if you start it. Yeah. Not if the other mm -hmm. side doesn't want you to. Yeah, certainly something to take a look at, but I think Ethiopia might have made some enemies where he may have had an ally before. Because, well, who's to see? We'll get some more information from when our people come down, and I think that's going to be at the end of this year, but what Ethiopia has done is established himself as world police. Yep. I wonder how many people are going to be uh, I, saying I unpleasant things about the police then. Though, because, I mean, the French side could just put enough troops in New Amsterdam so that by the time the truce is up, they just march in. Yeah, there's the thing. Uh, oh, well, there they are right there. Uh, but New Amsterdam got unseized for free, I suppose, there. Yeah. And whilst they had troops here, they didn't have a huge amount of troops ready. It's difficult to say who that really benefits, but that appears to be end of session. Our players are going to come down to reveal their cards. And Venice is in a player war now. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm going to take a quick look at score and maybe... I'm not sure if we got through all the fan facts, if we had any more. What about Venice? They're apparently in a player war now. What, really? Yeah. Croatia. Oh, Theodoro as ah. well. Right, so the score... Uh, do, yeah, do, do, that do, doesn't do. count. Just players, not war enemies, please. In our age of absolutism. Ditmarshen's coming out on top. You're right, they are yeah. generating scores super fast. Followed by Persia and Netherlands. So Persia and Netherlands would yeah, probably the, do well to yeah. curb the revolution. The, yeah, but the age is over in like two years now, so... Looks like the Dutch Just one. Two? Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. So I think these are essentially our rankings. It doesn't look like anyone's likely to overtake it's anyone. Looks like, oh, man. Listen, world policeman, uh, I think you get the uh, you get the honor. Oh, yeah, can we get oh. a poll on this? Oh, yeah. On who was the best player? Uh, Most interesting player, rather. Who enforced the best piece? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great move. It was oh, so they have to God. make another landing, and next time we will double the heavy ships. Mm. Mm. So how, how the much Dutch time do we have left? has of? been shown to be inferior. Uh, you we gotta explain to me how that engagement. works. <laughs> yeah. How did you have more engagement with than I do? Uh, six <laughs> maneuver. Sorry? Six maneuver. <laughs> oh yeah, so it was just I got the one maneuver pip. No, I thought I you were winning. The no, no. Oh my <laughs> god, I wouldn't have done it if I thought you weren't gonna win. Yeah, I thought yeah. that, I definitely thought you were like nah. No, we were crushing him. <laughs> yeah. And the second, uh, the the next naval engagement went a lot less less well for you because I actually put my policies up. <laughs> yeah. Still won that though. Oh my god. No, so let's you see. didn't. I did. No, I. We have, we I have the pole going. Your navy <laughs> to no. the last uh, ship. God. No, you didn't. Oh, you mean in uh, Europe? Yeah. No, in in. Uh, uh, there was a small off the coast of Canada. I killed like forty <laughs> there, heavy ships. There was or a small, there was a small was... engagement there oh, which you this, won, oh, but right, then there was yeah, another yeah. one which yeah. I think you won. Yeah. I'll take number two. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'm not even. Uh, <laughs> well, what did you? What have you done for the stream lately? Existed. <laughs> yeah, you live on Dutch welfare. No, not not anymore. Not you anymore. Should... I've received nothing. Really? You shouldn't say oh, yeah, should... no subsidies, I nothing. I built your nation. <laughs> I built your nation with all so my investments. Uh, this yes. is my money. And then I hear from everyone that <laughs> you're no, going to no, backstab no, no. me. No, you built our navy with your investments. <laughs> no, I, I built your. your I, I, I can't find your air. income. I don't think you have an air. <laughs> yeah. I hope Dith Martian appreciates He can totally sacrifice. talk. He's yeah, not the only yeah, golden yeah. statue. Jesus. I lost about half a million men fighting your war. <laughs> I mean, what's half a million men here, half a million men there? We're still in the war. Well, yes. Fake. This is yeah. Fake war. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so people, people want to want an explanation of why, why I enforced peace. So there's this thing here that I thought, hey, maybe I can get something here. Or like nah. here. Because... I just saw the uh, the naval battles where we're like, well, Kaiser Joan is somehow winning. So I thought, all right, he's not going to care about Ethiopia joining the war. Apparently he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. So what well. happened in Venice? Well, um, how to say it uh, in a nice way. I had some pretty big shoes to fill and uh, having uh, just come <laughs> back from vacation, I have a dainty little summer feet. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, look I, what I, you did with I, that war. I, I feel like while I'm not proud, 
I, am, oh, I also feel like I kind of undid the damage, sort of. Yeah. I think I'm at about the same development and um, um, Oh my god. Sorry, and you win each check that you win against Austria. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like I made every terrible decision that I shouldn't make today because I'm, impl I'm impressionable and the newly back because I like agreed to a one on one, agreed to like um, unally mm. my only AI ally just so we could have a pure one on one, which. And oh then my God. being a pretty poor idea when um, when Austria came around. And I mean, you can <laughs> seek refuge in the new world. I, I just feel very. <laughs> we will gladly accept the Doge. I just feel very, oh. very, very taken advantage of. <laughs> poor, the, poor Austria. Yeah. But, but yeah, you know. Are they at war as well? You know. Oh, it, Bohemia. The, the Venice AI was too strong. We couldn't let that uh, that run loose. But I was no. I was very proud to hear about uh, its feats on my <laughs> vacation. I actually made up. Met up with Philip and a few, and we got got to hear the tales. Hmm. Make this right. AI. By the way, you made up a very big army. I was quite scared when I saw I, like I, 120 k. I, I really wish I had caught you there because uh, I, I was, was like close, <laughs> and then the running back. And then you ended up having to disband like 30k of it. I don't think I disbanded that many. I think a bunch of them died. Oh. Oh well. So what's the Hanoverian you know, plan here? It's to get you out of Europe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, see I don't that. Gonna <laughs> It's gonna yeah. happen. We don't want you there. <laughs> I That's want it. to be there. Of course you do. <laughs> Me and you, Otto you, want you to want be the there. The Wait, that war started 1680? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so 28 years. Why don't years? we get the uh, so for peace? Yeah. Because it's no one has uh, over us. You need 60-60%. Oh. Yeah. That war can go on forever. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and you're the one getting war exhaustion from it, not them. Like wow. 0 0.001. I can live with that. <laughs> Thank you, Test Hamster, for recognizing greatness. Uh, yeah. How, yeah, it's, it's actually you, going down. How is Kaiser gonna repay Persia? That's a good question. He, he, he wants to know. Haven't yeah, you we learned went. anything from Kaiser Yuan before? He doesn't repay no, his no, no. allies. <laughs> he breaks everything. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, we will. Only buddies. because it was convenient. Speaking of Persia, <laughs> uh, you've done pretty well in Anatolia. They're not on the border front. No. <laughs> no, well, I don't blame me for that. I, I blame Ethiopia. I, I do blame you as well. I mean, you're the one that grabbed the be bit by the Black Sea. I have to sell it back. <laughs> to... Uh, we'll find out yeah. soon. <laughs> to the Ottomans. <laughs> I want that land. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can almost yeah. walk around that sea. They're like, nope. What's the scoring look like for this age? Um, uh, I do believe good. you're in the lead. Yeah. Uh, by a quite healthy margin. Yeah, and there's only two years left, so you have that first place. I will get points? Wait, what? There's only two uh, years no, no, left? No, no. Yeah, one, two, two, that can't be. Oh! Four, five, six, I thought seven, eight. eight. No, yeah. no, 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 there's no, another age. No. I will mean, get points too. You want. Oh, come on, I'll get points. Because I'm on that list as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you uh, close points, down? Finally. Yeah. yeah no, 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 it's because oh, I'm not left again. Sorry. I don't remember how these rules work. Well, am I getting points? You are not getting points. You're not getting points anymore. What? All right, current list, excluding those who have left. Uh, Dithmarsh and Persia in the lead. Netherlands slightly behind. I think, um, I think France is, is after me. Uh, and they are gaining more points I mean, you can month. just go back and unpress players and we will see. Yeah. And we can just Well, I mean, discard. Ming is yeah, clearly yeah, yeah. the winner of this game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have won in every single... Let's see. Uh -huh. Yep, Ming yep. has won it. So Ming has 30 points. Yeah. <laughs> so I think at this point we can't really give anyone the first place. No, the, the first place trophy will sit here and never move. Yeah. I will glue it down to the table. Okay, so Ditmarshan. Ditmarshan, Persia, Persia, Netherlands, France, Gujarat, Prussia, uh, Ethiopia, Papal States, and. and? So what's Divert, Guyar, I think that's... what is Guyarat gonna do now that France, Netherlands, Theodoro, Ethiopia is busy in the new world? I'm Who is gonna busy. see? No one's. I'm busy. not busy in the new world. You make <laughs> no. sure of that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's only your troops in new world. I think five years For is now. just enough time well. to crush Persia and Delhi again <laughs> before we come back. Yeah, to Yeah, I, I was hoping to see another war there, but then nothing <laughs> happened. Well, we had an agreement, and we decided to not fight each other for this session. <laughs> We that's, realize they are much more threatening not fun. Well, we'll see how it goes next time. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you go for Persia, there's 500 heavy ships coming to New Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's to the Netherlands. 
Well, so, it's communist yet. always overstating things. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Nice. <laughs> like, I, I even think I have a larger army than you. Let's Do check you out really? the, uh, I, the armies. No. I mean, I'm not really worried. Even if you were to gain army? naval supremacy well, enough me. to be able to land yeah, in well, Europe, welcome to Europe. <laughs> come and come too. and get it. Uh, I yeah. don't want yeah. to kill me just yet. 270. Look at those Theodorans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fed <laughs> by tulips. How are you able to afford them all? <sighs> Well, the right Dutch welfare. Limit, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it was Dutch welfare, but I'm gonna pay it back, unlike other peasants who are just sure, stealing the money. Sure. H half of the game is basically run on Dutch money. <laughs> I think yep. every single major player has yeah. gotten Dutch money at some point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All the more funded. reason to tear it down. <laughs> you damn bankers. Well, you should say I invested fifteen thousand in you. You're the one who got the most out of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> it is a lot of honor, good deal. dishonor. Exactly. Mm. All right. So there's, I think, about three more sessions to go. Do we have any uh, declarations? Death to mm. the old world. Theodoro. <laughs> New Amsterdam is actually going to get historically accurate borders and destroyed. Which is, which means like uh, all the way down that coastline down to uh, Washington, I think it was. So all of that is going to be Dutch. I would love to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> he will, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Maryland. I don't. I don't know. American. It's World War One all, all over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for this week, and we will be back next week, same time, same channel. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye.